Being the founder of the largest and most popular online retailer in the world surely comes with a lot of perks and benefits. Who in the world has never used Amazon before? It would be hard to believe if you're not familiar with its very popular platform that made a lot of things convenient. Well, if you regularly use Amazon, chances are you're also familiar with its founder as he also made a name for himself as one of the richest people in the world. Well, Jeff Bezos has a net worth of $168 billion, and if you have the same wealth as him, then purchasing a mansion worth more than $100 million will probably not break the bank. It should not also be a surprise that he owns multiple properties other than his Beverly Hills estate. I mean, any property in Beverly Hills will surely cost a fortune, so be prepared to be mesmerized by this home. Come along with me as we take a tour around this $175 million home of Jeff Bezos. Just by looking at this magnificent aerial view of the whole property, you can already expect things to be elegant and expensive inside. This is a 9-acre property and to be honest, I bet that we can expect to see amenities and accommodation inside that we can also see from 5-star hotels. The manicured lawn surely needs more than one person to maintain it healthy and lush. Let us learn about how this property started. Known personalities have also occupied this huge home as it was built way back in 1930 for Jack Werner. Does it ring a bell? Well, of course, he is one of the co-founders of Werner Brothers. This mansion was even known for hosting tons of parties back in the days. This is where the well-known personalities gather for a drink like Audrey Hepburn, Howard Hughes, and Jim Stewart. Bezos actually bought this property from another billionaire, David Geffen, in February of 2020. Actually, this is a steal for Jeff as David originally listed the estate at $225 million. You will be welcomed with large pillars in the front of the mansion itself. You will also see how the interior embodies a royal feel to it. At first glance, you will think that it is the White House. Bezos and all his guests can enjoy the huge pool and hot tub in this place, which is located just outside one of the guest houses. Well, yes, there are two guest houses in the vicinity, both of which are huge enough to accommodate the people who will stay the night after a fabulous party. If Jeff's guests have had enough drinking and partying, they can now burn off some calories by playing some games in a nine-hole golf course and in the lawn tennis court. All of that and more because this nine-acre land even has a motor court that can house at least six of Bezos' sports and luxury cars. Let us now get inside and explore some of the unique features of the interior. The mansion itself has nine bathrooms and eight bedrooms. Fourteen people can savor a meal in the dining area which is undeniably large. Considering that you can find a lot in this property alone, we are sure to be mind-blown once we visit Jeff Bezos' larger and more expensive property. Even though he might have a more luxurious property than this one, this mansion still proves to us how elegant and worth it it is. The design of both the interior and exterior is obviously Georgian-inspired. Once you enter the front door, a massive staircase will leave you in awe. Of course, a chandelier will match this site, and it blends well with a wood accent all over the house. The bar is probably full of the alcoholic beverage that you can ever think of. There is also a library for when Jeff wants some alone and quiet time. Some of the other properties that Jeff Bezos owns are the 165,000 acres ranch, a $23 million house, and a penthouse in New York. If you want to see a closer and a more in-depth virtual tour of these properties, let me know in the comments section below. And that is all that I have for you today. Jeff Bezos might not have been a really private figure, as we have seen him enjoying the luxuries in life. I mean, nothing wrong, especially that we have all witnessed and benefited from what he had created. Well, have you enjoyed this tour? What is your favorite part of this estate? I have a lot of topics to share with you, so make sure that you subscribe and come back for more. I'll see you on our next upload for another luxurious update.